Hello guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel Infotech and uh, today I brought you a very useful and uh, very competitive news and uh, so without wasting any more time let's start with our new session so the first news is Japan's Hito Horigon wins first ever Olympic gold medal in skateboarding this event took place in Ariak Urban Sport in Tokyo Yuto overcame a shaky start to pocket the gold with 37.818 points and uh, did you know that Meritowa is a Tokyo 20 Olympic Games mascot let's come with the second news Kargil Vijay the World 2021 uh, this day was uh, is held on July 26 that is yesterday and uh, it is observed every year on 26 July the day is celebrated by the day is celebrated to mark India's victory against Pakistan in Kargil War 1999. India Indian armed forces on this day took back the higher posts of Kargil from Pakistan. This year marks the 22nd anniversary of victory in Kargil War. The operation was known as Operation Vijay. Did you know that war lasted for around 60 days and came to an end on 26 July 1999 and that is why Kargil Vijay Divas is celebrated on 26th of July. Let Defense Minister Rajnath Singh flagged in Armix 21 in Delhi. The Armix 21 was conducted in the mountain ranges of the Himalayan region to promote the adventure activity in the country and the Indian Army. The expectation was flagged off at Karakaram was flagged off at Karakaram Pass in Ladakh and culminated at Malari in Uttarakhand. Let's come to the next. RBI revises personal loan limit for bank directors to five crore from twenty five lakh. As per the amendments, amendments, the central bank has allowed banks to extend personal loans up to 5 crore to directors of other banks and directors relatives other than spouses without board approval. The earlier limit for such loans was 25 lakh. And this earlier limit of 25 lakh will continue to apply to business loans. Let's come to the next news. Rudreshwara Temple inscribed as UNESCO World Heritage Site. Kakatiya Rudreshwara Temple, which is inscribed as a UNESCO World Heritage Site, India's 39th World Heritage Site. The decision was taken at the 44th session of the World Heritage Committee of UNESCO. Ramappa Temple is a 13th century engineering marvel named after its architect Ramappa. Let's come to ne next. UNESCO's, UNESCO's Historic Urban Landscape Project for Gwalior Orsha launched in MP, that is Madhya Pradesh. Gwalior and Orsha cities have been selected by UNESCO under Historic Urban Landscape Project, which was started in the year 2011. The year 2011 for the inclusive and well-planned development of fast-growing historical cities, while preserving the culture and heritage. The cities will be jointly developed by UNESCO, the Government of India and MP. And the CM of Madhya Pradesh, everybody know is Shivra Singh Chauhanji and Governor is Bangubai C. Patelji. Let's come to the next. Max Bupa rebrands itself as Nia Bupa stops using Max, Max brand name. This is ne Neva Bupa is one of the five pure play health insurers in the country. International Finance Corporation extends dollar to fifty million to HDFC for green affordable housing. This IFCs has extended uh, five dollar million dollar twenty five to fifty million loan to HDFC Limited, India's largest housing finance company, to support its moves to grow its affordable housing and emerging green affordable housing portfolio. 
This will enable low and middle income borrowers improved access to finance while supporting the country's climate goals. Also, in the IFC, the investment arm of the World Bank Group. Amit Shah inaugurates Greater Sohara Water, Sup Greater Sohara Water Supply Scheme. Amit Shah ji, our Union Home Minister, along with Chief Minister K. Sangma, inaugurate, inaugurated the much awaited Greater Sohara Water Supply Scheme at Sohara in East Khasi Hills, Meghalaya. The Greater Sohara Supply Scheme was conceptualized by the Meghalaya government and an amount of rupees 24.08 crore was sanctioned by the donor ministry in 2019 under NESIDS. NESIDS is basically the Northeast Special Infrastructure. Ashok Lavsar's new book, An Ordinary Life, Portrait of an Indian Generation. This book by Ashok Lavsa, former Chief Election Commission, appropriately titled An Ordinary Life Portrait of an Indian Generation, elaborates on those elaborates on those times and people through the life of its hero, Bauji, Ashok's father, who consistently struggled to benefit from the rewards of hard work and honesty and found no reason whatsoever to follow another path. Let's go come to our next, our next one. Paralympic bound shuttler Pramod Bhagat named differently abled sportsman of the year 2019. World number one para shuttler Pramod Bhagat was an, on Saturday named differently abled sportsman of the year at the Indian Sports Honor for 2019. The delay in announcement was due to COVID-19 pandemic. Bhagat, who won two gold medals and a bronze at the Dubai Para Badminton Tournament. This year, he will be participating in singles and mixed double events at Tokyo Para Olympics 2021. Magma FinCorp is now Punawala FinCorp after takeover by Serum Institute CEO Adar Punawala. Magma as Punawala FinCorp with effect from July 22 after other Punawala led Rising Sun Holdings acquired a controlling stake in the non banking finance company. Rising Sun Holdings had acquired a controlling stake in the NBFC through an equity infusion of Rs. 3,456 3, crore. The transaction was completed on May 21. As we all know, Poonawala is the CEO of Serum Institute of India, manufacturing COVID shield vaccine. Government to set up Indian Institute of Heritage at Noida and has decided to set up the Indian Institute of Heritage at Noida Gautam Budnagar. This will impact higher education and research in the field of rich Indian heritage and its conservation leading to masters and phd courses in history of arts conservation museology tribal studies archaeology preventive conservation epigraphy and etc our union culture minister is kishan reddy next news indian businessman yusuf ali M. appointed vice chairman of top government business body in abu dhabi Crown Prince of Abu Dhabi, Sheikh Mohammed bin Zayed Al Nahyan, has appointed prominent Indian businessman Yusuf Ali M.A. as the Vice Chairman of the Apex Government Body for all business operating from the UAE's capital city, making him the only person from India, from India on the 29-member board. The ADCCI is the Apex Government Body of all business established in Abu Dhabi. The capital of UAE is Abu Dhabi and the currency is dinar. Let's come to the next one. Come to the next one. Government setups sets up Dairy Investment Accelerator to promote and facilitate investments in the dairy sector. The department 
has dedicated to focus towards promoting and facilitating investments in the Indian dairy sector and has set investment accelerator under its investment facilitation cell. Dairy investment accelerator is also generating awareness among invest investors about AHIDA, that is Animal Husbandry Infrastructure Development Fund. Amit Shahji launches Prathna scheme and lays foundation stone of Tamalpur Medical College and Hospital. Our Union Home Minister Amit Shah laid the foundation stone of Tamalpur Medical College and Hospital in Guwahati. He also distributed check of rupees also distributed check of rupees one lakh each to the hundred selected COVID-19 victims under the state government's Prathna Akoni in the presence of Assam CM. Hemant Biswa Sarva, Health Minister Keshav Mahanta and Badol Land Territorial Region Chief Pramod Oro. Let's come to the next. And the final news is Priya Malik wins gold medal at the World Cadet Wrestling Championship 2021. It is a very great news. Indian junior wrestler Priya Milik won a gold medal in the 73 kg category championship held in Budapest, Hungary. The Cadet World Championship is a tournament where the best Greco-Roman freestyle and women wrestlers worldwide below the age of 17 compete. India has won 13 medals including 5 gold and at the World Cadet Championship. And till now, it is for this now. And I hope you liked it. It is definitely for competitive exams as well. So I'm providing lots of good questions and for your any kind of railway SSC exams. So please do subscribe, like, and share my channel. And share my channel. And um, please do share it and like it if you like it. Till then, goodbye. Thank. You. Hello.